So my name is Grady Zeroya. I'm from Northville High School. I was a class of 2022. I'm a football player. I played wide receiver there for all four years and I'm committed to play football at Tiffin in Ohio. Last year I injured my foot before the season started. I tore my Liz Frank ligament in July of last year. We were in the middle of a seven on seven for football and it was a non-contact injury. I was just running around and turned the wrong way, got unlucky and it shot. My ligament tore right in half. It was a grade three tear so really nothing happened for me the past six months between August to March. I went through two surgeries, one in November, one in March, and I was going through rehab for like six months and nothing was really working for me. I really didn't have much hope at all of being able to get back on the field by this time. And then I decided to do some research and I found Mecca and everything's really changed since that first day I came here. And I'm more than thankful for everything that's happened here. All throughout my life growing up, I played football from the age of like five, starting with flag football and growing up through tackle and everything and it's always been my dream to go and play college football and stuff like that. The past two years of high school football, junior and senior year, I've gotten injured in both. My junior year I broke my other foot in four places. That wasn't as bad as this one because that only took like five weeks to get back from but then this, I've never gone through like surgery or that much rehab before and as much as it's like painful externally, it's honestly the hard parts not even that. The hard parts all like the mental struggles and stuff like that. Being able to trust yourself and believe in yourself that you're gonna be able to get back on the field. I've never really dealt with anything like that before. It was really tough. Sometimes you feel like there's nothing you're gonna be able to do. Like why'd this have to happen to me? In the first six months from like November to March, I didn't feel like I was getting better as fast as I wanted to. And I was like, am I even gonna be able to go to college next year for football? Cause that was always my dream. And like with the past two years of injuries, my recruiting process just did not go how I wanted to. But I was lucky enough that Tiffin still was able to bet on me and that I was going to be able to get back to where I wanted to be. And I don't think I would have been able to do that without everyone's help here at Mecca and especially my trainer, John. He helped me in every way possible to build myself back up to where I am now. My lowest point was probably around exactly when my injury happened because the first time I was healthy in a while was between my junior and senior year. I was healthy. I had a great off season. And then right when I hurt my foot, I'm like, you got to be kidding me and I was just like why does this have to keep happening to me am I even gonna be able to do this anymore I was starting to lose trust in myself which is honestly one of the hardest things mentally for me it was like a wall it wasn't like anyone was telling me you're not gonna be able to do this or anything like that it was honestly me questioning myself and that was one of the hardest things for me to overcome and then one of the things that helped me get over the wall was coming here and being able to gain that trust back in myself and I don't think I would have been able to do that if I never came here when I came here I was really just focused on trying to like build back up my entire right leg, my right foot. I came here with the mindset that I just want to be able to get another chance. And that's all I was looking for. I was like looking for a fresh start, building everything back up. It was like from the ground up. That's what me and John said. He's like, I'm going to build you back up and we're going to get you ready to go by the summer. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And he's like, you're going to have to fully commit. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do the meal plan. I'm going to be here four days a week. It's not going to be easy. Honestly, the meal sucked at first. That was honestly the hardest change that I had to deal with was the diet. It was a tough change, but once you got used to it and you started seeing results, you're like, okay, this is, it's all worth it. And you're gonna keep sticking with it and you're gonna keep going. I gained like 13 or 14 pounds of muscle and I lost around 14 pounds of fat, around like 27, 28 pounds of change in 12 weeks. So when I saw the pictures, I was like, wow. Dude, when I first looked at them, it was like, damn, that looks insane. Like that, that is crazy that that in just 12, you wouldn't have thought that's in just 12 weeks. But when you put in the work, when you change your diet, when you come here four days a week, when you do all the right stuff, you're gonna see those results. And you have to make sacrifices. They're going out and stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm so tired. I just need to chill home. I need to get my stuff in. I need to eat. I need to eat right. I need to get all my supplements in. And there's times where like, yeah, I wanna go out and stuff like that, but I'm committed to this. This is what I wanna do. And they're like, why aren't you coming out with us? And I'm like, I want this. This is what I want. And as much as it sucks sometimes, you gotta love the pain. I wouldn't have changed anything that happened to me because battling through all that adversity is some stuff that no one's ever gonna get. And I'm honestly thankful that it happened. Now I'm not gonna change it. Everything happens for a reason. It's honestly just a test to battling through adversity. And I'm glad I went through all of this because it makes me the person that I am now. My whole mentality changed since coming here. From the surgery, you just get drained. It's not even the physical things, just mentally you're just done. At 
at that point, just sitting down on the couch for six months. You're just mentally drained. You're in the low point. It's just how it is. And coming here just changes your mentality completely. I've never been to a place where the coaches care more about their clients. It's like they're working out themselves is what it's really like. They are pushing you beyond your limits. When you want to fail, they're not going to let you fail. When you want to stop, you're not going to stop. You're going to get those last couple reps no matter how you feel. And they're going to push you to your limits. They don't care if you throw up. If you throw up, you're going to go throw up and you're going to come right back out and finish your set. But it's crazy. They set you up for success by failing. They want you to succeed just as much, if not more, than you want to. And you're not going to be thankful enough for the people here and what they want to do for you. I'd recommend this place to people that are looking for a fresh start. Honestly, just like restart your whole mentality, restart your whole body physically, mentally, in any way possible. It's the best place to go. There's no other place that's gonna give you results like this. There's no other place that's, that there's gonna be better people supporting you or anything like that. It, it's awesome here.